Okay, here we have a problem that's talking about um, a field and area and all kinds of things. This says, Beth has 3,000 feet of fencing available to enclose a rectangular field. We're supposed to express the area A of the rectangle as a function of X, where X is the length of the rectangle. Okay, we're supposed to be finding or talking about area. Well, what do we know about area right now? We know that area equals length times width. But we're supposed to be writing area as a function of x. So we're supposed to be doing something that looks like a of x. That means that we can't use length and width, or l and w. We have to use x's and x's only. Well, what did they tell us about x? They said x is the length of the rectangle. Well, let's just kind of draw a little sketch here. If in a normally in a rectangle we have length and then we have widths on the sides there. Well, if we know that x is the length of the rectangle, we can replace our l with an x. Now we have to figure out some way to replace w also because we cannot use that in our function in terms of x. So there has to be some way to rewrite w as x's. This is why they told us that she had 3,000 feet of fencing. If she has 3,000 feet of fencing, then that means that all the way around this field should be 3,000 feet. So that means that 3,000 should equal this side here plus this side. So that would be x plus w, and then this side, and this side also. So plus another x plus another w. This is our perimeter formula, two lengths plus two widths. So that would be 3,000 equals two x's plus two w's. Now if we solve this for w, we can replace that in our area formula. So if I move the 2x over, we get 3,000 minus 2x equals 2w. And then dividing both sides by 2, we would get 1,500 minus x equals w. This then will tell us what we can replace w with in our area formula. So instead of w, I'm going to say 1,500 minus x. And then we can clean up our area formula. So the area in terms of x would equal 1,500x minus x squared. Now this is a fine function right here, or if you want to turn it around so you can work with it later and see the a, b, and c in the correct order, that would be uh, negative x squared plus 1,500x. Either way is perfectly fine. This way is more in the correct order. Now, for the next part, it says, for what value of x is the area the largest? Well, now that we have our area function, we can go ahead and maximize it or find the vertex, another way of saying that. So we know that x equals negative b over 2a, which would be negative 1,500 divided by 2 times a is negative 1, which would be negative 1,500 divided by negative 2, so that would be 750 feet. If our length is 750 feet, we cr we're going to create the largest area. Well, the last part of the question says, what is that maximum area? So now we can go ahead oops, and we can evaluate the area function for an x value of 750. So that would be the opposite of 750 squared plus 1,500 times 750. Remember, I'm just filling in an x value of 750 in my function. And then we can plug this in the calculator, and we should get 562,500 square feet as an area.